Hey, Smiles. How are you? <laughs> hey, Smiles. Yeah, Ronnie was on the uh, wrap-up show. Did you hear any of that list no. uh, Thursday? Yeah, I'll tell you, Ronnie Limo Driver wrap-up show. He's a pisser. It's funny. Did you hear Sal got accused of jerking off on your bras? Mm. What? You don't know about all that? No, I'm completely oblivious to this. All right, well, here's uh, Ronnie on the wrap-up show. They got a hold of him afterwards, and he was quite upset because, I, you know, I called him out and said, you know, don't give the girl, nick the girl interns nicknames. Don't do that. It's not good. Stop flirting. <laughs> Stop, you know. And so then Ronnie interpreted that I was in a bad mood. That's why I was pecking on him. He's never wrong. No. So there must be something wrong with you yeah, was, if you're yelling at him. Yeah, there's something wrong with me. I he was in a bad mood. He never evaluates his behavior. You can't get through. It's like talking to a wall. I'm trying to class him up a little bit and like to explain to him that women don't like that. You're talking to a wall. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when he's in a position where he's working for the show and these kids are working for free and they're young kids and he's an older man. He doesn't understand. Yeah. We were walking out, and she held the door open for us, and I said, thank you, Smiley, and then we kept walking. So it's Smiley, it's not Smiles. Smiles, okay, it was Smiles, whatever. What Actually, I heard him call her Smiley, and then other guy said he calls her Smiles, so it's... Well, he, he just switches it up. Yeah. yeah, at his discretion. What's the difference? And do you understand how Howard reacted the way he did? Why he would think, oh, he my God. He didn't say shit to me. Uh, In you know, his head, he's thinking, dude, should I lecture yeah, Ronnie Ryan? doing over it a little bit. Well, no, maybe, I some, could, I, maybe somebody told me he was old, and it, you know. No, here's what happened. Oh, please. No, no, here, no. I'm telling you yeah. how it so got. Cause, no, because when somebody told him, <laughs> Hold on. somebody told him on you. Well, dude, it had nothing to do with that. He doesn't understand what no. it's like to be in an office, right? And his position and what he can and can't do. Well, first of all, he was never meant to work in an office. This is a total freak thing that he's in an office. He was meant to sit in a limo and drive people. I in my infinite wisdom, took him out of the limo and put him up here to do security. See, it was me. Do they tell these interns they're coming into the bizarro world? <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, there's and no... things that yeah. happen here shouldn't really happen in offices. There's a no... I'm telling you, there's... There's no way this guy would have ever ended up in an office environment. You know what I mean? He, he just wasn't going on that career path. It ended up that way because he wanted to be a security guard. I don't know any place where he would be safe, though, as a worker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, women are locked in a car with him. Well, he's always appropriate that way. I mean, he, like, he knows when he's in the car he's not supposed to talk to the customers. <laughs> like, he here, knows he doesn't know that. He always keeps his mouth shut when he's driving. But when he gets up here, it's a totally different thing. When there's thing. no partition, he doesn't understand. Right. If I put him in a car, he knows, what, <laughs> he knows the rules are don't talk to anyone. Just keep your head forward and drive. But when he got up here, he became a whole personality. You know, he was unleashed. Yeah. Ronnie, Ronnie, I need to have him carry around a partition so people <laughs> could roll it up. No, but he gets the rules as a limo driver. Like yeah. somebody once explained it to him, I'm sure. So, like, now all of a sudden he's interacting with interns. He'd had interns before and these people, and he's got, he's got to sort of, you know, be this authority figure walking around in the halls. And I've said to him like 50 times, just keep your mouth shut, just like in the limo. You don't have to talk to anybody. Don't show any of your personality. Just sit there like a piece of wood <laughs> when the guests come in, pat them down if they, you know, pat everyone down, not just the rap guys, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so it looks, everything looks kosher. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I told him, just, you know, to make sure generally that any guests who come in, you know, keep an eye on things and keep an th eye on things out in the hall. If anybody gets crazy, you know, tackle them, you know, whatever you have to do. So he knows what he has to do, but then like there's this gray area where he's just Ronnie the personality, and suddenly there are interns and attractive women, and you know, and over he goes over to Rick's Cabaret now because Lonnie made him a whole star over there, and these women at Rick's Cabaret who are professional strippers, you know, Lonnie tells him you treat Ronnie like a list. Right. So Ronnie walks in there and his head's spinning like, hey ladies, and they're like, Ronnie, woo, we love you. So he's starting to think he has a way with women. Yes. And then he sees these young interns who are the same age as the strippers over at Rick's. And he thinks, you know. And he talks to them the same way. Right. Hey, my definition for you is smiles. <laughs> <laughs> 
My definition of you is beautiful. Too hot. My definition of you is too hot. So a lot of the girls who are, you know, they're, they, they're the same age as the strippers, but they're on a different career path. They want to actually be treated like people. Yeah. It gets confusing to him because he sees young and beautiful, and he's pretty sure he's... These girls like to hear this. Right. Well, you remember what happened in the speed dating contest. We put Ronnie in there, and right away he was inappropriate. He moved his chair into her space and then started holding her hand. <laughs> I mean, it was just too much. It was like within one minute he was already inappropriate. <laughs> and he came in last. And then he was like, I don't care. Right, right. I don't care who's last. Big deal. Oh, my God. I mean, that should have been a wake-up call, right, in a way? Oh, I didn't need that. Yeah. What is this? Adorable is the next step up from being hot. You can be hot, but you can, you're not always adorable. Got that? I don't know. Does she understand it? She understands it. Because she, speaks, she speaks my language. You know what my language is? So she would be considered adorable. The language of love? She's adorable. What about when I was on the city and getting the poison up? Was I adorable then? Oh, that was really adorable. She speaks my language. Creepy. <laughs> she speaks creep. She speaks creep. She's fluent in it. She works at a strip club. She she meets creeps all day and night. <laughs> She's a... Hey, how are you doing, Toots? <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> Getting out the poison. She was awesome. So what would Christy be? Christy, besides having a 50-pound ass, is, a baby baby, right? is smoking hot. Uh, yeah. Smoking hot. That's his definition of her, smoking hot. Smoking hot. Smoking hot. Smoking hot. The difference between smoking hot and adorable is it's, she's got, like, the whole sexy routine going on. She's a little bit adorable. Not 100% adorable. But she's got the sexiness, the craziness, the lunacy in her. You know what I'm saying? She's up for anything. Really? Really? Anything? You didn't know that, huh? Hi. Wow. He's got these girls pegged with his definitions. <laughs> and I try to explain to Ronnie that these girls don't give a shit. They just want to make money. In fact, sitting there talking, they're not getting paid. But he doesn't believe me. Oh, no. They've got him convinced. Right. That he's a stud. Yeah. And why would he give that up? Remember when he... Uh, one girl was super smoking hot. Do you know about that? <laughs> now, here's a definition of above smoking hot. I mean, just look at her, look at this girl's face. I mean, in the minute I saw her, all I kept doing was looking at those eyes. As soon as I saw her, I tell you, he's like Hugh Hefner over there. <laughs> he gets over to that Rick's Cabaret, and he's Hugh Hefner. He's got everything but the smoking jacket. And you know how Hugh Hefner thinks he's a stud. Right. Or Ronnie thinks he's a stud. Those eyes get you, like, forget it. You can't stop looking at her eyes. And then she turns her. Oh, boy. No offense. He's sorry. He didn't mean to offend them. I'm sorry I'm raping you. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. <laughs> and he thinks the girls like this. You know, he's, he's charming. I want to spit in her face, fuck her in the ass. And shit all over her back. <laughs> That's my definition of smoking. No offense. I'm taken. You're not taken. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. You Ron. You can't offend these girls. <laughs> <laughs> not if Lonnie tells you you're, they're, you're a VIP. Beautiful body. Love the tattoo. And look, look, look. See? I can pull around, too. She's got it all. Gymnast. What do you mean by that? I guess at the stripper club, pole the pole yeah. dance. She so, can really climb a pole. Ronnie's like a, an expert on strippers. Got it all. <laughs> Angry or what? Where did he come from? How did he get this way? <laughs> He'd have to go into <laughs> Pardon my French. <laughs> Where was he raised? And what I've told Ronnie to do, I said, Ronnie, before you talk, 
Think of like a 110-year-old woman hitting on you. Like a, literally a woman who is 110 years old. That's how those girls look at you. But he doesn't want to hear it. He gets upset. See, you use the adjectives. First they're hot, then they're smoking hot, then it's super smoking hot. They hypnotize, they hypnotize. Her eyes hypnotize. Say it again. All right, so my definition for her... Sounds like he's in love. <laughs> There's other definitions, but I'm sure you've heard them. You've heard one of a kind. Like I'm, a... Waiting for, I'm waiting for the girl he's really in love with. Mm. Oh, you mean definition was girl you can fall in love with? But first it was one of a kind. Uh-huh. League of Her Own, and then Girl You Can Fall in Love With. Yeah, because that's the one uh, they were making eye contact. Yeah. I want to hear The one all. that he falls in love with. Well, here's, a, here's one of a kind. <laughs> What's her name again? Rachel Ryder. Ryder, yes. Rachel Ry Ryder. 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 I mean, we Ryder, that's where Yeah, he's. we're not mm. getting the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Ryder. Ryder, Ryder, I like yeah. it too. Rachel, Rachel Ryder. Ryder, yeah. A big boner in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that sound? That's the sound of my boner in my pants. <laughs> anyway, well, she is a definition. Yeah. I have a definition for her. We'll, we'll go with, I'm, I'm, I'm going to write my own dictionary. I'm getting started here. He's like a young Webster. Webster Dictionary? It's Ronnie. Ronnie's Dictionary. A Mundanary. I'm starting it right here at this, this expo. So my definition of this girl is... I gotta, I gotta think about it. It's okay if I think a couple of seconds while I stare, while I stare at her body and everything. Oh, All right. she must have loved that. Uh, my definition of her... I can't even talk about this one. That's the worst part. Um, rubbing my nipples, I can't even think. Uh, Is that is that a compliment? One of a kind? Well, I think in his world right. this is a compliment. Higher than super smoking hot? But she's not super smoking hot and she's right. rubbing his nipples. Right, so he can't really think clearly. Because he's all turned on. But I'm thinking that this is a girl who really has to work to get her tips. As she, as she squeaks me. Yes. I, 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 I can't even talk. I have a nipple fetish. I can't lie. I have my nipple fetish. I know. I know. <laughs> Which is, I think, one of a kind's an insult, Ron. Because... Well, so, well, you couldn't well, talk we, about her look. Back on this again. I, thought you, I, thought I like we, it. I thought we were done. I don't know. I can never be done with you. <laughs> this will never die. I this thought we were done. done. This will never die. I talked this about is you. Your... Let's get let's get on her. I talked about you in a rabbit show. I'm going to get to that. Oh, okay. This is this is your <laughs> Hamlet. Yeah, my Hamlet. <laughs> it's time for me to pile on to you today. Well, we'll get to her. No, no, we'll get to her now. Now, <laughs> enough of this. Right. Here's Ron. We had enough of this already. One of a kind. Yeah. It's is not, that an insult? Is that it, it's not as good as super sexy smoking hot, right? No, it, it is. Oh, it is. It's better. It's better. Why? One of a kind. One of a kind could be bad looking. Like like one of a kind could be like she's yeah, but you're not put, you're not putting it that way. You know, you're putting no. it so. You know. All right. <laughs> I saw it as potentially kind of like a bummer for her. And she no, was, no. When she was rubbing your nipples, were they really distracting you? Yes. Yeah. 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 Definitely. <laughs> like Blue Iris was one of a kind. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but this is a different one of a kind. I'm actually caught up in his definitions. <laughs> and what they mean. And what they mean. You want to just hear a league of your own or oh, girl you can fall in love with? I want to hear that one. All right, then we'll get to I it. That's, that that's Wendy. All right, we're outside my booth, the Rick's booth. All the other places, we're just visiting. This is my home, and I'm here. I'm doing, continuing my dictionary of hot girls at the Gentleman's Club. The Gentleman's Club Expo. I'm continuing on with... She's grabbing my hand. I don't like that. Uh, anyway, um, Wendy is going into my dictionary. I know Wendy a long time. We go back a long ways. Wendy is not only beautiful, not only hot, not
not only smoking hot, but Wendy's the kind of girl you could fall in love with. And that's all I'm going to say. That's the, what is your actual definition? She liked that, boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She fell for that hook, line, and sinker. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Is he charming or what? <laughs> is he charming? He's uh, he's one of a kind. I'm one you're of a one, kind. You're super smoking, one of a kind. <laughs> right, exactly. There you go. She How did we wind up on this again, did by the way? Did she go like, oh, yeah, Like she yeah. liked it. She yeah, melted. Right here, right? Yeah, she melted. When he's the kind of girl you can fall in love with. She's going to be nice now. That's so, so say that like that. Just say, so, okay, so my final <laughs> repetition on her. Okay, she's got to repeat it. On Wendy, which has been for quite a while now, is the kind of girl you can fall in love with. So that goes into my dictionary in a very special place. Imagine Wendy, the, lo the lovely life she'd have with Ronnie. Like if she falls in love with him and he falls in love with her. The two of them could just be so happy. I don't know what's holding you two kids back. <laughs> okay. All right. How old is she, Wendy? But uh, 20? No, no, no. She's a... Yeah. That's what confuses you. These fucking chicks. Are you, 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 yeah, but they know. Yeah, okay. They know. Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever you they say. They came from another what, Rick. Whatever you yeah. say. Okay. They come from Rick. Whatever you say. What do you think, Lonnie doesn't prepare them? Yes. He All right. You know he, he does. He puts them in a room. You're there with a camera, he put, too. He puts a gun to their head and says, You've got a camera. This is what you got to say. You have all access to the club. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you don't know that? No. I, I'm I'm dumb to that. You I think they? Don't, I don't you? know. I'm shock treatment, dude. Yeah. Anyway, so here, Ronnie was on the wrap up show about you know him giving the girls at the the girls at the Stern show the the interns definition. Well, smiles. Smiles. I wasn't giving them definition. No, but I mean you're giving oh, nicknames. Please. You're giving out nicknames. Not, Best uh, you stay quiet. Uh, okay. You know. Okay. I'm not no, talking. You don't I'm need not, to talk to the I'm interns. not talking to the girls anymore. No, you don't need it. No more girls. That's not what you're here for. Oh, okay. All right. Remember in the limo, you always, yes. you used to always keep your head forward yes. and just drive? Yes. you got to do the same thing here. Okay. Pretend right. there's a partition. Yeah, right. pretend there's yeah a I'll carry a partition around. Pretend with you're me. in a limo. Okay. Oh, then he got on you. <laughs> When you first walked in, you didn't even go after Howard. You went after Robin, and you kept going after Robin. Do you think she was riding you a little hard? Robin rides everybody hard now. Robin changed a lot, okay? I'm sorry. Since Since when, Robin, Robin, Robin forgot where she came from and all her old friends that she left behind. What does that mean? <laughs> no. Sounds like you left Ronnie behind. No, no, no. It, it uh, wasn't me, on. dude. It wasn't me. All right. what? I was just in the group of these people. Right. It wasn't me. I don't give a shit. I don't need any friends. You but, do the same thing, you know. You left your old friends. No, I didn't. They oh, left okay. me behind, dude. They ditched my ass. Who? Who are you talking the about? Same per the same person that I said that she ditched, ditched me. Mm. <laughs> your boy, Neil Drake, okay? Uh, uh, I ditched Neil? That's right. I think Neil he ditched about, all of us. He cries about it all the time. Well, I thought you weren't talking to him. Well, he's not talking to me, basically. <laughs> yeah, but you ditched friends, too. Who did I ditch? They all ditched me. No. Yeah, you did. I'm thinking of someone. Oh, you okay, did. yeah, okay. Who did? Well, there was a reason for it. No, there was no reason for that. Yes, there was. Who you Why do you about? say? Who are you talking about? Jack. No. Who are you talking about? Mike. Well, there's a reason for that too. Oh, see. Oh, there's yeah. always so a reason. So there's a reason. So how come? Oh, whoa! Was oh, 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 he crying to you about no. it? No. Oh, obviously he does. Boo hoo! I said, have you spoken with Ronnie? And he goes, nah, I haven't heard from him. Hasn't called me back. The only time he calls me is when he needs something. All right. Okay? Okay. He needs a favor. He needs this. He needs that. It's the only time. He actually, dude, he called me two weeks ago. Leaves me a message. I guess you're not really talking to me, but that means like, you can't help me out with something in Vegas. Wow. There okay. you go. See? There you go. All right. You ditch a lot of your so friends, I've too. I've forgotten I didn't where I came from. I didn't say where you came, about where you came. It's about your friends that used to help you no, cause Robin going used back. To, That's why you're depressed. Robin used That's to, why you're fucking depressed. Robin used to... Robin used to... <laughs> That's why you're depressed. I think you're it, nuts. I think getting away from I'm you... Not I'm not nuts. I'm not nuts. I spent one day depressed. Wait a minute. Uh, if that's no. all it takes... Come on, let's get it out on the table. How many times, how, how much shit did Neil help, help you out with going back years ago? Neil and I used to hang all the time. Real, yeah, it was what, a help out situation. What, we used to hang what out. happened, Robin? How come you Neil don't hang? Got married. How come you don't call Neil, Neil anymore? How come you don't talk to him? into the city. How about Bonnie? You never talk to her anymore either. Oh, my God. Neither do you. Yeah, why don't Yes, you... I do. I was with her Saturday. Well, good for you. you How go. do I know what's going on over there? Yeah, well, you don't talk to her. You guys used to go out for dinner, used to go to the theater. What happened?
Oh my! Oh no. my! Not, not, I don't like, care about I, me. You don't, don't want to, you don't want me to tell you why I don't do anything about that, do you? Yeah, you could tell me. Go ahead. Well, uh, uh, just because I don't we're get into just, it. Dude, just because <laughs> we're just because we're split up, that means doesn't yeah, mean I don't that know doesn't what's mean going you can't. That doesn't I don't mean, want to be in the middle of anything. There's so nothing exactly. in the middle of. Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't want to be why? in the middle of anything. Why? She can't so be friends with you. Why? You still, you still can't be friends. I didn't tell you. Okay, we I have didn't. a great lo- we have a great relationship. So I, you go ahead, call buddy. I don't. What does that got to do with Neil? What does that got to do with Neil? Neil left all of us. Neil left all of us? Yes. Oh, that's not what he says. Okay, whatever. He says you he, even said that. You said Neil left you because he went off with his rich friends. He went off with his rich friends because everybody dumped him. All right. So you dumped him, too? No, I didn't. He dumped me. Well, how come he dumped come you, he dumped but too, everybody but else dumped him? Dump because him. his wife doesn't want him hanging out with me now that I'm not married to Bonnie anymore. <laughs> Plain and simple. You think I'm stupid? Yeah, but this was going on even while you were married to Bonnie. No, it wasn't. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah. I used to see Neil all the time. Yeah. Talk to him all the time. Now it's like, I call I call him. And it's like, oh yeah, we're gonna get together Thursday night. Yeah, you call me. Yeah, okay. I'm still waiting. No, you know. Ronnie gets really insulted. I'm not insulted, don't. dude. I I just He's know. Insulted. You know what it is, dude. You know, I'm not insulted. You used to I just see what people are all about now. Remember That's you all? used to go over to his house to watch the WWE. Oh, I used to go for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. he's all upset. I'm not upset. He's dude, been upset ever me. since. Dude, it's him. Dude, You're dude, talking you fucking about you. idiot. Yeah, what are you gonna buck up your ass today on me? What yeah. is this shit? You think Robin dumped you? You're gonna like it. She doesn't want to hang she out with you. She dumped me. I didn't say she dumped hey, me. She doesn't want to hang I, out with you. Play the shit from the rob. I'm sure I didn't say a, a I, fucking thing about I me. I said I didn't care. No, you don't know what's you going on. You want Robin to hang out with you? Bullshit. <laughs> you think everyone's a snob? Dude, I never hung out really with Rob. I mean, we hung out together with Barney and the. No group. one wants to hang out with it you. It was it was a whole group thing. We used to hang yeah. out together. Well, no one's looking. It for wasn't. You. It was just like we, me and Robin, went out together. Get it through your head. No one's looking for you. I don't. Got, She's not into the WWE and, and, and NASCAR. He, she, re, no, we wouldn't. We wouldn't watch NASCAR. But she would sit on the floor with the little kids and watch wrestling. And See, you can't tell me. What I tell you? Dude, what I tell you? I don't care. Yeah, you don't care. Dude, I don't care. You do too. You bring it up. <laughs> Stupid ass. I How do I know care. about it then? Because well, I came, I told you about it on the right, air how she said. used to come on and what? That's right. Yeah, it's okay. You liked it. You were like, hey, Robin's good. She moved good. on. It's she's fine like with me. Us, she, Obviously. She move anywhere. He's Neil a, became unavailable. He's a married guy. He's in a different phase of life. No, he's not. Sure, he, not, what, he's going he's gonna to go out with Robin and leave his wife at home? No. Uh, what is that? Rob is going to hang around with him and his wife. Come I don't know, dude. It's a that's not dynamic. What, dude, that's not what I'm talking about. It's a different dynamic. Oh my God! See, you, you, you're twisting everything around. And Neil only talks to you to tell you that Robin won't hang out with him. <laughs> you're probably right. <laughs> right. You're probably right. And he doesn't hardly talk to me now. Right. He doesn't hang out with you. Right. Robin doesn't. Because he's not allowed to. to. And right. he can't fucking tell he's me. He's not different. allowed to. A man's not allowed to hang out with you. That's he's, right. Yeah. So you think that's the real reason? Oh, I know. I asked, wait, a minute, I asked, hold so, it. wait a minute. You're just saying something right there. Is that the Neil we hung out with? No, that's the not the Neil who, who was told what to do by somebody? No, that's not the Neil. That's right. Right. Neil does what he wants. Right. He, he just he, want, he doesn't want to hang out with you. But all I'm saying is he bitched he bitched to me millions of times about well, her. Okay. And you bitch about him. Okay. People move but on. I, you yeah. don't always hang out with the same people. But I told him point out he's not allowed to hang out with he denies it. Ronnie he won't admit like it. you come over for Thanksgiving and watch WWE. Oh, I, I told shit. him to get the yeah. hell out of that yeah, madhouse. Right. Yeah, madhouse. Sit there with Ronnie watching WWE. Madhouse. I yeah, said, I even said to Robin, how the hell are you sitting with Ronnie and watching WWE? She didn't sit with me. Go, we have a she good sat, time. We did have a good time. <laughs> oh, fucking Was it super smoking I'm hot? I'm still laughing Bullshit about me. it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what did you talk about over there? What did I talk about? No. We talked about the WWE. <laughs> I don't wonder you got out of there. <laughs> you, mean you don't well, want to do that anymore? It was anymore? the WWF then. Yeah. You don't even want to talk about that? I mean, what's the matter with you? You don't want to have Thanksgiving at Ronnie's and watch WWE? Uh, no, you don't want to have Thanksgiving at Ronnie's anymore. <laughs> That's, That's for sure. Yeah, Ronnie changed all, everything. Yeah. Uh, he used to have fun over there. Did Ronnie have a nickname for you, like Smiles? No, he didn't have give out nicknames at that time. No, no. Insulting. <laughs> no, so many little kids All right, let's around. get back to Ronnie on oh. the wrap-up show. Here we go. <laughs> I'm serious. I- I'm asking, what do you mean by that? What do I mean by that? Robin yeah. used to pal out with a lot of people, 
And now, since she changed her whole lifestyle and with this, the, the green drinks, she put all her old friends like they don't exist anymore. Uh, really cool. Like okay. an AA person. Let me tell you. Just stop hanging around with those, meat eaters. If those green drinks get rid of some of the riffraff, I'm all for it. I'm, get me one. <laughs> Her, her even gonna are you up. are you one of them? No, not really. But I was involved with a, a group of her friends, you know, and and she left them all behind. But that's fine. That's that's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Why do you? But you're not going to come after me because she left her friends behind. I don't know. I have no clue. No clue. <laughs> the new lifestyle. Maybe, maybe you have to ask them. Maybe they can answer. It. Yeah, I don't know who they are. Yeah, they're not here. You know who some of them are, Gary. Yeah, don't you have tons anymore. of people in they your asked life? The last time she talked to the guy, the guy who used to bail her out of a lot of stuff, Neil Drake. Yes, the last time she talked to him. <laughs> don't you have a lot of friends that you don't hang out with anymore? There's yeah, friends. oh, there's a ton of them now. Right. <laughs> Well, there you go. There's a shitload of them now, right. boy. Circumstances change. Yeah. They sure do. All right, but why? wouldn't it be nice for her be, to be that she was friends no. with him all these years? Does she have to, to lock call, it? No, no. How no. do you know? Like, call him up and say, hey, Neil, how are you? How do you but, know? But, you know, our lives went know? in different directions now. Don't take it the wrong way that we don't hang out on How anymore. do you know? That, We've been friends for years. Do you know how you say, like, oh, this guy asks me for stuff all the time? Yeah. How do you know that something didn't rub her the wrong way? Or how do you know something? She just said, you know what? It's not fun for me anymore. I want to move on. Okay, you, you fine. Well, matter. tell a person that. She's a snob. Tell a person that. I told Gaffney that. I told him plain out, dude. The only time you fucking call well, me is I when you need something. I didn't plan to drop anybody. They, at life changed. And okay. they weren't around anymore. Okay. There you go. Okay. End of story. I know, now I know why you're depressed. I'm not depressed you at said all you were depressed. about my friends. I love my friends. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, Ronnie. All right. Fine with me. I got no problem with Listen, it. You got all new friends too. You're Mr. Strip Club. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mr. Strip Club. <clears throat> That's okay. right. I'm not only friends with, with Rolani. Okay, I have other friends. I know. But I'm okay. just saying. All of a sudden, you're a different guy. I'm a different guy. Right. That's right. I'm a different guy. All of a sudden. All of a sudden. You Hefner. You Hefner. Right. Yeah. Getting, getting, so, I'm, I'm getting fitted no for one smoking should, jack. No one should say and put you down for it. <laughs> No, you are. No, you're your all friends over, you're all over you my ass. You have all new friends. You're all over me. You have new friends. You're all over New me. friends. Another hour. New today. friends. Today's what? It's a quarter to seven. Forty-five minutes around. That's right. <laughs> the minute the show started, it, all of a sudden it became me. Who yeah. are your top five friends? I don't have top. I don't. Who I don't. You, I don't have any friends anymore. Name your five. I friends. have no friends. Oh, uh, wait a minute. I have Just acquaintances. A second ago, I don't you have had friends. Friends. I have acquaintances. All right. Who are your top five acquaintances <laughs> then? I don't know. Exactly. Scott the engineer. He's my top. On top. Yeah, you used to hang out with him all I the do. time. I do. I still. No, well, he's not allowed. Right. Uh, there I you know. go. All right. Shit happens. What can I say? You have different friends, too, since you got mad. Hell, all None of us want to be friends with you. <laughs> Good. I, who's the one variable? I don't really care. I, I like you. I know. I do. I know you do. Right. We right. bullshit. People right. don't know how much you like me. <laughs> you, just, you, always, you, always show, you know what my you know, definition you of you is? You always show the bad side of me. You know what my definition is? Keep in the closet. That's it. That's yeah, it. you don't want anybody to know you're friends with me. Right. Fred, are you allowed to be friends with Ronnie? I think so. Yeah. Why not? Nobody's sure. banned you from Ronnie? No, I talk as far to Fred. As I, know, no. I like Fred. I talk to He's Fred all dude. the time. We bullshit all the time. All right. Benji, and I like his dick. Benji's another story. I don't want to talk to him. He's different. <laughs> all right. Well, why don't you like him? Because he never comes in on time. Right. Oh, now he's now he's on time. Two days in a row. Yeah. Well, um, that'll change, you know. All right. That. all right. Thank you, Ronnie. All right. All right. There he is. Ronnie, the limo driver with his definition. 50 minutes. 50 minutes. There you go. He's a pisser. <laughs> I got a letter from, an email from uh, Jerry O'Connell. It said two words, Ronnie Priceless. <laughs> oh, my God. He loved it. Well, we know why from these mm -hmm. tapes. He's the best. So, anyway, he was giving it to you. Mm. Oh, so just to finish up with the wrap-up show, just so you know what's going on. So then some of the guys thought Sal was jerking off to your bras. When did that happen? Sal was locked in the bathroom for about... I would say a good 10, 15 minutes yesterday. Our little Our bathroom. bathroom. Yeah. Now, he was told he's not supposed to take a dump in there, correct? Right. That's right. Okay, so he, if he wasn't taking a dump in there, there's a theory going around that Sal was in there with Robin's bras. What? Because Robin's bras were hanging in the bathroom because right. they had to clear the studio out for Maroon 5 to play. Right. Okay, and he was locked in there for 15 minutes. During the show or after the show? During the show, and people were trying to get in there. And couldn't get in. <laughs> and ten minutes later, he was walking down the hall to do his morning shit with, with uh, Richard. You were in the bathroom for ten to fifteen minutes, and the accusation is that you were tugging off to Robin's bras. 
That's crazy. No. Well, that's, then what were you doing in there? You know you're not supposed to go to the I, bathroom in I, there. I, I know. <laughs> I, I, I even told Ronnie. Yeah, well, that's why I'm saying that, that I, I said, there's, problems, an, I said I there's a theory going around. That's a crazy theory. So what happened? Why does he always have stomach problems? His stomach problems. I've never had a stomach problem at work ever. And what, what is he doing in the bathroom with his stomach problem? I For took a shit. Minutes. I, I, it was one of those. Okay, hold I on a second. Ronnie said after you left, then you went right down the hallway to take a shit. No, I went out with Richard Christie, right. who we went when, uh, who I went with him to the bathroom to take a piss. I didn't take a shit. <laughs> didn't I tell those two guys they're not to pee together anymore? I and, guess they are going to the main restroom. You said not know. to do it in that one. Sounds like they're using the private bathroom. What's going on? I don't know what they're doing. I don't want them peeing in the same room together and crisscrossing and looking at each other's dicks. And and then they mess up the... I don't even care if they look at each other's dicks, but they they, just, they, they shouldn't be pissing in this. They get the whole seat wet and the whole thing when they piss together. It's disgusting. I mean, it's just gross. Why would you leave to take a so piss? So you shit in the bathroom you're not supposed to shit in, and then you follow that with a piss in the bathroom well, you're Richard supposed does, to shit. Richard doesn't want to piss in this bathroom anymore, we, so he was going to take a piss. I was going to take one, too. He goes, you want to come with me? And I took a walk. But why did you break the rule? I think because we'll I, somewhere couldn't, else. I couldn't hold it in. That's why I... Whoa, I whoa, saw whoa, it. Whoa, it whoa, it's been 20 feet away. It's been six years. I've never... I'm not asking you about the time. I'm saying that you can get... It's not and that I far away. I wouldn't want to jerk off to Robin's bras. The what? way they just dangle there, they don't even look good. They don't look good. He likes them on you better. Yeah, who wants to jerk off to just an empty bra? Empty bra. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear he doesn't want to. How do can that. you make a bra look good? Good enough to jerk off on? Oh man. I got to take a break because I got to figure out how to talk about something here because it seems like enough people are calling in about it. Oh really? So I got to talk to Tim. But. Hmm. Well, that's intriguing. <laughs> yeah. Something right. you have to handle. You have to handle.